Shalom, 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 Israel. It's your King and Shepherd coming with another message of daily edification. Brought to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All praise is due. Well, this is video number two for the day. And my last for today. Um, want to come from a familiar passage that I've done in the past, but not like this. Now, Royal House of David, I've done this passage with you a couple of times, but uh, since we have company, <laughs> um, this goes out to the Pharisees that are watching on here because y'all are just bugging up, you know, my comment boards and y'all are all mixed in so y'all here for a little something you are you want to hear what's he going to say next one of y'all had the nerve to say we don't leave because we want to hear what crazy things you're going to say man Whew. all i can tell you about this message today dude you're going to listen to it but by the time I get to the end, you're going to wish you hadn't. That's all I can tell you. All right. This is not a Pharisee-friendly lesson. And um, actually, none of them are. But this might be the coldest lesson that y'all are ever going to hear. Because it's the truth. All right. I warn you. If you, wanna, if you don't want to get your heart broke, you really need to scroll past this video. It's the only warning I'm going to give you. All right. So. Let's. Uh, let's begin our reading. Going to go to. Uh, two minutes in. Let's go to. We'll start it off with. Luke chapter 13. We're going to drop it all the way down to verse 34. All right. Remember, Pharisees, you've been warned. All right. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stone them that are sent unto you. How often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, but you would not. You Pharisees, you 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 wouldn't receive Yahweh Shai, and you killed all the prophets before that tried <clears throat> to 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 steer you in the right direction. Yahweh Shai was the last prophet, all right, and king that you was going to kill, right? Y'all are never going to get to me, okay? But he said, if only. Y'all would have listened, man. Hold on a minute, y'all. All right, there we go. He said, if only y'all would have listened. But you didn't. <clears throat> Verse 35. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. And verily I say unto you, you shall not see me until the time comes <clears throat> when you shall say, Bless is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Now, The Pharisees, at the time Yahweh Shai was here, they hated Yahweh Shai. That's why they put him on the cross. So Yahweh Shai said, you're going to see me again in the time where you're going to be praising me instead of wanting me dead. What do y'all do now? You praise Yahweh Shai as Pharisees. Oh, <coughs> 
Y'all don't read the scriptures? Y'all didn't know that the Pharisees hated Yahweh and wanted him dead? You don't think it's odd that you're praising him now like he said you would? Well, there's a reason for that. Yahweh played a real dirty trick on y'all, man. And it's been dropped in my lap to tell you. Yes, Pastor Porkchop got to give y'all the bad news, man. Pastor Porkchop, Pastor Porkchop got to give y'all the bad news, you Pharisees. All right? Now, listen good. He said, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. The Pharisees were wiped out. Pursuant to AD 70. We all got our asses ran out of Jerusalem. All right. And he told them that when this happens, you won't see me again until you're praising me. Thousands of years later, what are y'all doing? You're praising Yahweh Shai, but you're still keeping the law of Moses. The very thing he came to do away with. Now, y'all can't let go of the law of Moses, but you want to hold on to Yahweh Shai. This is how you know that we are in the time of judgment. Okay? Read the scriptures. Catch me where I'm wrong. Tell me in the scriptures where the Pharisees showed Yahweh Shai any respect or any love. But you're doing it now. All right? This is to drive it in. Okay? He said, you shall not see me again. Until the time comes when you shall say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. They weren't saying that at the time of Yahweh Shai. They killed anybody that was down with Yahweh Shai. But now you sticking up for them. Can't make this up, y'all. Now, want to be sure to get that. Now, let's go to. Isaiah chapter 6. We'll go down to verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, he, I, here I am, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people. That's what the Most High said to Isaiah. Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their eyes, make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So, the most I'm saying, that is some people that are so wicked, he don't want them to get healed. All right? He doesn't want him to get healed. Let's go to Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. So look, verse 9. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Well, we in the end now. What did he say was going to happen in the end? Look at verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So, this is why y'all continuously ask these dumbass questions. The Most High has blinded you, all right? Let me give you another precept. Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Upon who? The small remnant. The ones that do and follow the commandments of Yahweh Shai. Them. But he said darkness is going to cover the earth. Is the earth dark now? Yes, it is. We got Biden sending billions of dollars to the Ukraine. 
We got the United States engaged in World War II. We got the Russians on the eastern border. We got the Chinese on the western border ready to invade America at a moment's notice. All right. Uh, they got uh, aircraft carriers. All right. Fighting it out in the Taiwan Straits. All right. We got the banks collapsing. Everything. Gross darkness. Okay. But then, and he said we got darkness. But then he said in gross darkness, the people. Well, who's the people? Israelites. See. He got the world in darkness, but he got you, 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 all of you Moses law keepers in gross darkness, gross. He got y'all. You can't even see your hand in front of your face right now. You think you can though. You think you're so smart, but I'm going to show you something. Let's go to, uh, I want to set all that up so I can go here. Let's go to Matthew chapter 20. Matthew chapter 20, starting at verse 1. Yahweh I said, For the kingdom of heaven, this is laborers in the vineyard. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Okay. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. Now, you heard what I said? He said, early in the morning, he hired laborers in the vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. Now verse six, about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all day idle? So they've been out there all day. Now let me explain how we told time back in the day. It ain't like now. Six o'clock, that was hour one. From six to six, it's 12 hours. So from six to nine, nine is the third hour. Twelve is the sixth hour. 3 o'clock is the ninth hour, and then 6 o'clock again is the twelfth hour. So it was 5 o'clock in the afternoon, right before the sun went down. Yahweh Shai said he hired another group, the last group. See in verse 6. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all day idle? They said unto him, because no man hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall you receive. Look at verse 8. So, when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, give them their pay, beginning from the last to the first. <laughs> Did you hear that? So all the laborers that have been out there all day working hard, all right, in the hot sun, they got paid last. And the ones that waited all day not doing nothing that had it the easiest, they got paid first. Look at verse 9. And when they came that were hired about the 11th hour, they received every man a penny. Verse 10, but when the first came, the ones that had been out there since early in the morning, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, these last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that is thine and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? 
Is I not evil because I am good? Look what he said in verse 16. So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. For many are called, but few chosen. Now look what he said. He said, But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man, saying, These last have wrought but for one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a penny? Look at verse 14. Take that thine is and go your way in other words get out my face i will give unto i will give unto this last even as unto you so let me explain to y'all how long has the truth been out since 19 what 69 one west how many of y'all have been out there bearing the heat of the day, the cold, the wind, the rain, standing out on highways, arguing, fighting? Some of y'all getting stole on. Some of y'all getting guns pulled on you, bearing the heat of the day. I used to see some of y'all camps when I was a kid down here in Cali. Just one, though. One in Lamert Park off of Crenshaw and Lamert. They had the 12 tribes of Israel. This was back in the 70s, man. Didn't know what they were. Didn't know how it pertained to us because I was a kid at the time. But, yeah, they were out there. Um, then y'all broke up. It started splitting up and forming these different camps, right? And you've been pushing this line for the longest, right? Pushing this line for the longest, right? Pushing this line for the longest, right? Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, bringing brothers in, educating them on the law of Moses, educating them on keeping the law, educating them on the dietary law, educating them on everything that you can name, all right? Erroneously, though. And then, after all them years, all right, all them years from 1969, to 1999, 2000, 2005, 2010, all right? That's the first hour, the third hour, the sixth hour, all right? Y'all were collecting people all that time. That's why all of these camps, I think Nate is up to, I don't know how many members, okay? He got chapters all over the world, man. GMS, all over the world. Sakari, all over the world, all over the country. All right, y'all got camps set up everywhere because y'all been laboring, all right? But then, in the 11th hour, ain't nobody else out here coming in in the 11th hour. Around 2014, I got woke up to this truth. And in 2018, I started the Rod of Iron. And from 2018 till now, which is almost 2024, you got about six years, all right? This is the 11th hour. The 11th hour is us, all right? Uh, the 11th hour is us. We're the ones getting that penny at the end. And we're going to get paid out first. Now, I know you don't believe that, but you had anybody else tell you anything close to this? Um, <laughs> we ain't spent one day on the highways and byways. We ain't spent one day holding up signs. We ain't spent one day uh, uh, braving the cold and the heat. None of that. We have met through the spirit through the channel only, no building, 
No 501c3 connection to the government. None of that. All right? No microphones. Just me in my car talking to the royal house through the spirit. The way he said. All right? Acts 7 and 48 says that the most high dweller not in temples made with hands, so saith the prophet. So we don't dwell in temples made with hands. It's all through the spirit. We do Google Meets. We do meetings through uh, email, telephone, whatever, you know, but no building. All right. So. Y'all are the ones. That put in all of the hard work and the rigor. All right. Because your homicide wanted y'all to do that. See, because you are those spirits that got him arrested and executed. So Yahweh Shai played a very cruel joke on y'all. He also left you in the mindset to keep the law of Moses the same way it was when you left. Y'all are those men. Now, stop me when I'm lying. Hmm? Stop me when I'm lying. Did he do it? Was y'all out there? Some of y'all still out there. Some of y'all are still on the highways and byways thinking that you're going to get this big payout and you're not. Y'all going to get the shit into the stick when this destruction comes. And there ain't going to be no missiles, man. No, ain't going to be no missiles. Y'all want that. No, ain't going to be no missiles. America is going to be reduced to a dystopian society. Starvation, starving babies, ran down houses. All right. Except for us. All right. We're going to receive our penny first. And you will receive your penny last as he designed it. Let me put it in perspective one more again. Matthew 20, verse 8. So when the even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire. Pay them out, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. So, we've been here. Ooh, nowhere near as long as y'all. And look, I was 44 years old when I came into the truth. 44. Right? So that's the 11th hour like a motherfucker. He didn't let me come into the truth when I was 19, 20, where I got 20, 25 years standing out there holding up signs with you camp niggas and all that. No. He let me slide. He let me sit my fat ass right in his damn car and make videos. Right? <laughs> but I'm going to get that penny though. And my penny is going to be shinier than all of y'all pennies. All right. Believe that. So this is what the law of Moses pays out. All right. This is what you're going to get paid for all of your trouble and for sticking to a dead law. All right. Once again, like I told you, if you keep the law of the Lord, which is the Ten Commandments, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, all thy soul, all thy strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself, you have kept all the law and the prophets. This is all that the Father ever wanted, man. But y'all just can't give it to him. You got to be wicked. Now, if I love my neighbor as myself, all right, I won't covet. I won't be after nobody's wife. I won't steal from my brother. Then I don't need the law because the law is only to bring people up on charges with. Now, if I was a wicked ass nigga that want to be laying down with a man's wife or stealing from my brother, then I drop from the commandments to Moses law and I get sentenced. Moses law is nothing but convictions. There's no life in it. All right. 
That's why he started us off with it. But you dumbass niggas just don't fucking get it, man. You don't get it. All right. It's like now. The laws of this land are not for me because I'm not a lawbreaker. When I was working, I went to work. I punched out. I punched in. I don't steal. I don't do fraudulent paperwork. I don't try to get by and cut corners. So the law is not for me. But the minute I try to embezzle some money, the minute that I try to, to do something illegal, then I fall in the confines of the law and then I get convicted. That's all Moses law is about is conviction. And you stupid motherfuckers just can't get that. You can't. You refuse to. Your dumb asses really think that a ham is going to keep me out of the kingdom. And all month long, they're rattling this in your thick ass skulls. And you don't get it. Y'all just dumb as fuck, man. Darkness covers the world and gross darkness to people. All right. This is just a penny for your thoughts. All right. This is a penny for your thoughts. Um, but best believe me and the royal house going to get that penny and we're going to get it first. We're going to get that penny and we're going to get the fuck out of here. And you're going to get your penny. And as the scripture says, you're going to go your way. All right. Y'all should have never did that to Yahweh Shai, man. Y'all should have never did what you did to him. But, hey, somebody got to get the boot in their ass. I'm just glad it's y'all. All right. So, Roy Officer David, I ain't telling you nothing you ain't known before. Keep that Luke 962 rolling, man. Keep your hands on the plow and your eyes forward, all right? We're going to keep pushing this line over here, keeping the commandments of the Most High, the true commandments, the royal law, all right? We'll let these dummies keep thinking they're going to get salvation through the law of Moses, all right? Until the wind starts uh, 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 blowing and the rain starts dropping and they ask get washed the fuck out, all right? So... I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. I pray that you were edified. All right. This is your King and Shepherd KD, and I'm out. See y'all on the next go round. Shalom.